I'm Bill Rue. I'm Vice President of GE Software. You know, we see that when you talk to a customer, it's really not just about a machine. If you're going to deliver outcomes, you know, your gas turbine may be at the center point of your power plant, but the reality is that you care about the whole power plant. So we realized that if you look at it from a lens of our customers, they need the entire power plant to be interconnected. They need all of that data coming together. The analytics has to look across the whole system, not just on the individual components. So when we look beyond just the first set of connectivity to big machines, and we think about the plant or the field or the factory or the fleet. It's really going to be about how these things interconnect. So for us, we realize this is going to be about people working together to make these industries more effective, more efficient, and safer. So when was your aha moment for, for IoT? You know, uh, almost 15 years ago, I started to play around with home automation at home and, and some of the early standards like X10 and so on. And like any hobbyist, you start to use that technology and, and uh, play around with it. And, you know, as, as high-end and interesting as it was, the, and, and as much as there were standards, the interconnectivity was not as good as one would want. And I think the technology was just then at the start, early days of being at the right place. I, I truly believe the Industrial Internet Consortium is at the right time in the right place. I think the technology prices have come down through those early efforts of home automation, RFID, the smart grid. We've learned so much that I believe we're really on the cusp of the right cost profile, the right technology at the right time. And I think that this is, is why this attempt to go down this path is, uh, is perfectly placed. What are some examples of best practices for putting the IIoT to work? You know, the industrial world is, is slightly different than the consumer world, I would say. Um, you know, I was at CES and it, it, was, uh, it was incredible the number of wearables and devices and robots and, and uh, 3D printers. And you just look at all the kinds of technologies in the consumer space. And I think that that kind of world is going to be different uh, than the uh, industrial space. Uh, and, but I think the industrial space is just as an exciting place to be. So when we look at the industrial world going forward, I think for us what we're, we really believe is that the kinds of infrastructure needs are going to be uh, greater, meaning there's more data off of industrial machines than consumer machines. The kinds of problems you face and the analytics you have to write are going to be much more intense uh, than before. So when you look at the future in the industrial space, I think it's really going to be about the ability to marry the digital and physical worlds in ways that, you know, are going to be bigger, more complex, and different than the consumer world. And I'd say that, you know, just pe I think our, our members have to keep that in mind. We exist in a very different kind of world, and we've got to help solve those problems uh, for the world today. What would be some examples of you know problems being solved by GE customers? Then? Yeah, so I think one you know one I really like uh, is the idea of uh, a, a, a service we call Power Up. Power Up is in our renewables, wind turbines, and if you take Power Up, what's really interesting about it is it uses a lot of wind speed data, uh, a lot of sensors about you know the atmospherics. It uses a lot of of knowledge about What's, uh, what are the best, if you almost think about best practices for what makes a wind turbine better, and it combines those to say, well, when I see this kind of environment, I'm going to adjust every wind turbine individually to optimize it. And from that, that capability, that IoT capability, we're seeing f up to 5% more power generation. You're not changing the wind, you're not changing the wind turbine, you're changing the operations based on a lot of knowledge, data, interconnectivity, sensors, and so on. And I think this is, is really the kinds of solutions we're going to see. You know, best practices in, in this are going to be, you know, you've got to be able to get lots of sensors out there. You've got to get the right sensors. You've got to be able to take in a lot of data. And it goes back to what I talked about before in best practices. Analytics is at the heart of this. 
if you don't have a great analytic capability, all the data in the world isn't going to help you. All the sensors in the world aren't going to help you. You're just going to have a lot of data, but not insight. And at the end of the day, insight goes to outcomes. So for us, it's, it's really about you know, getting that insight, having great analytics. But you've got to have the data. You've got to have the sensors. What is the IIC, and, and why was it formed? You know, when we looked at the, the, the industrial world and, and being able to deliver greater outcomes, we realized that you know, it's, uh, these are systems. Uh, and, and, and so, again, it's a fleet, it's a plant, uh, it's a facility. You know, it's, if you begin to think in those terms, you realize that uh, we're all interconnected. The machines are interconnected. Interconnectivity of all this capability means we can no longer live with silos and proprietary. That in order to achieve the vision, we're going to need interconnectivity, and this is, is where we learn from the, the, the internet, the consumer internet. There's a lot that you can leverage there. Now, this is the beauty of it is the technology coming out of the consumer net is what applies. So, our ability to leverage that technology and all the lessons that have led the way on the consumer side, uh, make it fit the world of the industrial, which has certain safety and regulatory and other considerations. That's, that's really where we can then deliver outcomes and new business models. But in the end, the technology has to all work together. What you have is a very strong mi mix of the digital and physical companies coming together, realizing that we don't have all the answers today, but as a community working together, building test beds, ensuring interoperability, and helping to drive other organizations to build standards, we can, in fact, uh, deliver that end vision of interconnectivity in the industrial world of all of these kinds of machines. So the industrial world exists today mainly in less connectivity, more proprietary, and a lot of legacy. So for us, we look at how you're gonna, how you're not gonna throw out what you got because when you buy a, a machine in an industrial world, you want it to last 20 years, 40 years. We have some products that have been out there 60 and 80 years. Um, so how are you going to take the existing and, and make it work in this environment? How are you going to make the new work better? How are you going to make sure that all this is going to interoperate? Uh, and, and if we can achieve what the consumer internet has achieved, I think we will truly get to that industrial revolution. The only way to do it is some mechanism and we believe the IIC is the right mechanism.